Hey everybody, let's take a look at the basic anatomy of a spreadsheet. This one is from an open source software package called LibreOffice. Uh, you can use Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel or Apple Numbers or any other spreadsheet program you can find. They all have the same basic features. So first a spreadsheet is divided into cells. Each of the grid boxes here is a cell and you can highlight cells as you can see. Cells are labeled with uh, a letter specifying the column and a number specifying the row. This box here shows cell A2 and it shows us that uh, cell A2 is highlighted. We can select a whole column of cells by clicking on a letter. Notice that the cell window now says A2 to A uh, some large number and that's all of the cells in column A. and It's a lot of cells. And we can also adjust the width of the cell in order to make our spreadsheet look better or fit on a page or for whatever reason you want. We can select a whole row of cells too. Notice that cells A4 to AMJ4 are selected. That's the whole fourth row. Most of those cells are off the page. We can also adjust the height of the row by dragging its border. Here we can highlight cells A3 to A15, which we call a range of cells. And here we can highlight cells B4 to H4, the range B4 to H4. In most spreadsheets, the starting and ending cells are separated by a colon. Cells can contain text, numbers, or formulas, just those three things. Here's some text. You can begin text in a cell and spill it over if you want. It still lives in the first cell, the cell where you started typing. We can also combine cells. There's usually a button at the top of a spreadsheet. Um, they're different on different spreadsheets uh, that will allow you to join or merge cells horizontally or vertically or both so they act like just big cells. Now let's put a number in a cell. If we just type a number without any text, that's what's in the cell. It just contains a number. Now how about a formula? Formulas always begin with the equal sign. So if I say equals 3 plus 3, that's an instruction for the sheet to add 3 plus 3 and display the result, which is 6. Likewise, 3 multiplied by 3 should give us 9. 3 divided by 3 should give us 1, and 3 minus 3 should give us 0. So those are the very basics. In the next video, we'll put this all to work and make a nice table of data.